the Iraqi army still has a strong presence around Baghdad, even though it's capitulated all too easily in other parts of the country. But as we drove north towards the front line, with the protection of Shia militia, the checkpoints were being manned by their fighters. We met their jubilant forces on the outskirts of Bakuba, about 50 miles from the capital. A mix of regular and irregular troops, many belonging to the Badr Brigade, a group with close links to Iran. And they were celebrating recent gains on the battlefield against the Sunni extremists. We fought them and we killed 40 ISIS fighters. We consider today to be the countdown for ISIS to leave our cities for good. There's been heavy fighting in and around Bakuba. Government forces have so far had few victories to celebrate, but they've released this video which they say shows their successes against ISIS outside the city and the weapons they've seized. And this is the ground they've recently taken. The closest yet journalists have come to the fighting near the capital. They brought in tanks and had dug themselves in, preparing for another potential ISIS offensive. ISIS have already taken a number of towns here in Diyala province, and this was one area that they captured. It's now held, though, by Shia militia. But we can still hear gunfire from these positions on the ISIS forces. And in the distance, there was the sound of small arms fire, suggesting that ISIS has not given up on its promised advance on Baghdad. The man coordinating the fight back is Hadi Ameri. He's supposed to be Iraq's Minister of Transport, but he's now dressed for combat. He also heads the Badr Brigade and says he'll turn to his friends in Iran if America doesn't provide airstrikes. If the United States doesn't support us, we'll turn to anyone. And that's why we've made it clear that if America doesn't step in, we'll ask for assistance from Iran. Iraqi forces, with the help of Shia militia, are making a stand around Bakuba. But that doesn't hide the fact that elsewhere in the country, they're still in retreat. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Baghdad.